A group of students at Hartford Public High School has done its part to help another school overseas. The students are part of the school's Academy of Engineering and Green Technology program, and they developed a wind turbine and solar panel system there. This new system would help generate energy, and the system is going to be shipped to a remote village school in the country of Nepal, where it will be used to power the school. Uh, we'll be giving them light to study and read in. We'll, give, we'll be giving them laptops to study and be cr as creative as they can. And we'll be lighting up a few rooms, giving them power for the first time ever. When I heard about this project to give electricity back to a school in Nepal, I was really excited because I found it as an opportunity to give back to someone who was less fortunate. Six years ago, I got an email from a person by the name of Peter Ork. So if you can imagine, I'm a new executive director of a nonprofit. I get an email from someone saying, I checked out your website. You look pretty cool in terms of what you do. I want to help fund you guys. So of course, I called him and jumped up and down and did a little dance. He and I met, um, and we uh, started a relationship six years ago. So I came up with this crazy idea when I was in, the, in Nepal, sort of trekking uh, up in the high Himalaya. And I came upon this one little village up on the Tibetan border called Salva. And extremely remote village with no power, but I met some students who were uh, actually learning English at this school. And I said, I'm going to go see this school. So I went to this called a mud, mud school. And I looked around and had no books, no electricity, no computers whatsoever. I'm not even really a chalkboard. I said, Saldan has two things, a lot of sun and a lot of wind. And I said, well, that's hard as that. And let's put together a wind turbine and uh, power up about six, seven laptop computers and put some lights in a little school up on the Tibetan border. I will say it, it, it was a little more complicated on our side than that. <laughs> we going to our chief operating officer, vice president of programs, and said to her, you know, we're building a wind turbine system. And she said, a windmill? <laughs> I said, no, a wind turbine. She's like, when did we get in the wind business? I said about an hour ago. We uh, really focus on team problem solving. Uh, yesterday, I was really impressed because students were coming to me with ideas of solving the problem and not without me having to even to pose the question. You know, six weeks ago, they, had, they didn't know what questions to ask. Now they're thinking, they're thinking. A teacher is not telling them something they are thinking and asking questions on their own. I want to read you a text I got this morning. This is from Peter Worth's wife. You know, we've been waiting to hear from him. 7.03 this morning, text from Suzanne Worth. Good morning, Dale. Just heard from my niece, and the team is safe and sound in Kathmandu. No details on the mission. More to follow. Thanks for keeping us in your good thoughts. 
So I was on the lead because, you know, we didn't know if he was okay. We haven't heard from him in over a week. Then at 7.50, I got, Dear Dale, she is up and running and powering six laptops, running the blower, heater, and lighting three classrooms. My classmates that they know me prior to this project, I, I was not patient. I had so many difficulties, like educational-wise and academically and behavioral-wise. I was not the best student, but this project taught me responsibility. I know. I know one person that would be proud is my grandfather because he taught me to be like perfect. He never wanted to be he never wanted me to think like negative at all. He always wanted me to push myself. Even if it ain't perfect, to like you know, show and do the work and make it perfect. I like you know, give up. Like to never give up. Just keep pushing. Before I moved here. I was a trouble student. I used to fail my classes. I didn't really care much. Um, I used to get in fights. And moving here and working on this project let me see my ability as I, I can do something to help someone who is less fortunate. Because I know what it feels like to um, go to bed at night without having electricity to do your homework. Have to use candle lights to strain your eyes just to write a paper. So having that power to give someone power is an amazing feeling. I'm just sitting here right now because I can't believe it's actually working. Being able to solve a world problem for somebody using science and math is an incredible feeling. Feel what you right now in your heart. I mean, I, I'm just amazed at that thing. We all knew it worked here, yeah. but getting it there to hear that it's working is uh, it's a huge relief for me. I would love to meet these people and I don't want them to be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank them for allowing us to come into their community and helping them. Don't stop either. Don't, things <laughs> might be getting rocky now in our schools and stuff like that. Don't stop because things like this, the project that we did, come out from what you believe in us. When things get rocky, please, I'm asking you, TC, don't stop. We're worth it. And thank you for believing that we were worth it in the beginning.